Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of Indie Art Studio with Annie D. I'm so excited to be here again and I'm gonna start today with a quote and it says, what if everything you've been going through is preparing you for what you've asked for? Hmm. Well, I don't know who wrote it, so you can add in the comments if you know the name of the person so we can all share. So I have a little story for this quote and this is why I've chosen. So when I graduated from Altos de Chavon with a visual of fine arts degree, um, I, I couldn't decide what I wanted to do because you had to pick one, one career only. I, I was between illustration and um, fine arts. So what I decided to do was work one year in illustration and one year in fine arts. So I did my first year in illustration. I didn't like it because I was going, so after art school, you're this artist and you're wonderful and you're so creative. And I was work, and I was used to working inside a studio and painting and sculpting and using my hands. And now I was stuck in a nine to five, drawing for math and school books, two colors. I didn't like it. I enjoy drawing, I enjoy doing the artwork, but not into colors and not for math books. So I said, maybe illustration is not for me. So then I said, okay, so I finished my first first year. It's very important for me to finish everything I start. So I finished my first year and then I started um, my painting year. So my painting year started in 2009 and it got interrupted with the earthquake that happened in January. So of course we had all Haiti suffered. Everybody lost somebody. It was horrible, it was horrible for everybody, for the whole country. And um, that was a very confusing time for me. I didn't paint for six months. I thought I was an artist. At that time, there was nothing coming out of me. I tried painting, I prepared my canvases, but Still, I, I couldn't paint. But I was seeing the pictures in my mind. And I guess that's what kept me sane for, during that time. So in that summer, when I came back, because I was, I went, everybody was displaced. When I came back to Haiti, I said, I'm gonna do my first exit, but I still hadn't painted in months. So I went to the gallery, Festival Arts, and it was um, in Haiti, and it was in August. And she told me, and I met her, it was the first time I was meeting the art historian, Maria Listeo. And she told me, okay, we're gonna put you for October, um, and you're gonna bring me a painting a week until October. I was like, what, a painting a week? I haven't painted in months. You're asking me to do a painting a week? So I went home and I painted and poured my heart away and my heartache and my pain and I cried and it was the first time that I had painted in months. So after that, so we did the exhibit. I, every, I brought a painting every Monday. Well, I did a lot of sizes, thank God for small sizes, but I, I did have, I did have um, bigger canvases too. That, that took me sometimes more than more than a week, but I still completed it and I had over I had maybe 25 pieces for the exhibit. It was pretty nice. I sold out. I was amazed. I didn't think that the response would be so great. And um, I still am very thankful that everybody came. My family came, everybody came to support me, all my friends, and it was really nice. So after the exhibit. So I was so used to coming to the gallery all the time. And I was calling myself a Haitian artist because I'm from Haiti. But I didn't know anything about Haitian art. I didn't know any artists. I didn't know anybody. So I started coming to the gallery, looking at, looking at the artwork. And I, I loved, I remember being inside that space and saying, okay, I want to I wanna be here. I want to create here. I was finishing up paintings at the gallery, signing and the details, and my paint was there, 
And one day, Magali told me, so why don't you stay here? You like it here. You like painting. And then I started talking to the, to the visitors that came. They became buyers. Then I was, I just found myself there. And then she told me, okay, I'm gonna hire you. Like, hire me to do what? <laughs> and I thought, okay, I'm hired. So that's how I became a resident, an artist in resident at the gallery. I made myself a position that did not even exist. I loved it. I got to interact with the different artists that came every day. So now I can name 100 artists on the top of my fingers and tell you about their work. And I know the person and I know the work. I've done, I've created with Maria Listea over, I don't know, 15 exhibits where I got to place, I got to go to the, the artist studios to pick the pieces, to help hang the pieces, to pick the space, to do the graphic design on the card, to take the pictures of the artwork, to receiving the guests and to the cocktail and then selling the artwork. So it was the, I, did, I got to do the whole process. And now when I, when I think about it now and I see, I was upset because I, I was stuck in Haiti. Well, that's how I felt at that time anyway. And, uh, and I couldn't go study because I wanted, always wanted to finish my studies. But it was, I was in the best school I could be because I learned about Haitian art and now I'm proud to say that I am a Haitian artist that knows about the history and that knows the artists and the work and how valuable Haitian art is. So that's, that's what I wanted to tell you. And this is um, this painting I picked for this week. I painted it. It was supposed to be a triptych. So triptych is our word of the day and it means a set of three associate art artistic works, literary or musical, that are intended to be appreciated together. But although I meant <laughs> to make it a triptych, it actually happened to be three single pieces. Well, this one, I didn't finish it, so I don't usually exhibit that one, but I exhibit these two. And the name of this, this, these two is um, Bloom Anyway. And it, it says, if life gives you cactus, bloom anyway. So what I was, so that's where it relates to my story where I was stuck in Haiti and I was thinking that I'm stuck here. I want to do this, I want to do that, I can't. But I was in the best environment I could be for my career and for, for an artist, for any artist. So I am very grateful and I wanna thank you guys for coming to this episode today and to always keep an open mind and keep on learning. Thank you for watching.